Studies show texting while driving increases the rate of an accident by 23 times. News 22 Katie Bieri asked local high school students whether they make the decision to communicate while they commute. It's happened to everyone. After buckling into your car and starting your trip, your phone rings and you get a text message. But studies show those few seconds to check can be the difference between life or death. High school student Amalia Zeitlin is one student who's chosen not to text behind the wheel. She believes taking that leap of faith isn't worth all the possibilities of what could go wrong. I choose not to text and drive because I've heard so many stories about people getting in car accidents and dying and killing other people while texting and driving, and that to me would be the worst, is someone else paying for my mistake. While there are teenagers like Amalia who've chosen not to text and drive, many believe their peers will never stop taking that leap. I don't think it will change until it directly affects a person. I don't think anybody will stop doing it until something bad happens. Right now, anyone caught texting and driving will be charged a $92 fine. If you get into an accident, you can even face jail time for reckless driving. Dan Trujillo, spokesman for the Las Cruces Police Department, explains that police officers are keeping an eye out for those who break this law. Your responsibility is supposed to be on driving. You're supposed to pay 100% attention to the road, to other traffic, to your driving. So if you get pulled over in the next few weeks, be ready to hand over your handheld device. Katie Beery, News 22.